Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's the E-Man family and thank you so much. We have just, I don't want to say just because it's been a few days, but we just surpassed a thousand subscribers. Thank you. Extremely, extremely grateful. Thank you guys so much for showing so much love to our, to our boy, boy and our family. Winston, Winston can you sit up for up them? Here. Look, look, look. Can you look into the camera? Boy, Ooh. that's Winston. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Handsome boy. Mm. Okay. So in honor of us hitting a thousand subs, yes. we wanted to make a video, a Q&A of questions that you guys might have for us. So base, okay, Winston. So basically that's what we're gonna be doing <laughs> okay. in this yeah. video. Guys, if you aren't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to us. We're on our way to getting monetized. So we're extremely happy about that. So guys, thank you so much for all the help you've been doing. And Winston thanks you as well. And we promised to make as much Winston content as we could. We're trying our best to balance everything because new baby's coming, Next but of week. course, wow. we'll see some of that footage. Yeah, on we'll make YouTube. that video too as well about Maria and her journey through being uh, pregnant and how it is with a dog and a toddler all at the same time. So yeah. we'll make that video as well coming soon. Okay, so the first question is, how did you find Winston? And guys, whoever commented questions, we thank you for that. Thank um, you. Finding Winston, so this was insane. Um, not really insane, but we we had <laughs> really so never <laughs> we had really never saw mastiff breeders, and never. we we lived in the middle of nowhere where we, we bought our first house because that's what we could afford. If you live in GTA, you know the house prices are insane. Mm -hmm. So we lived uh, about an hour and a half outside of the city, and it just so happened that there there was a lady a, a like lady. literally down the street yeah 10 minutes down the street who was selling mastiff who was breed who had been breeding and mastiff champion mastiffs like yeah and she's reputable mastiffs. like not a backyard breeder obviously she'd been doing it for decades and it just so happened that she literally lived 10 minutes away now we were in between mastiffs and great danes at the time yes um, i had always loved mastiffs yeah, though he always loved mastiffs and i always loved great danes but it was a clear choice for us once we really looked into their temperament yeah um, when we originally saw the Mastiffs though we we ended up not being ready um, no we were thinking about trying to have children yeah. granted she had a miscarriage um, and we we it was sad at the time but it was really like a meant to be in disguise and yeah. uh, we were put on that wait list of nottingham mastiffs notting hill notting yeah. hill mastiffs we'll link them down below and um you know we got settled down in our newer house in the city mm -hmm. and just so happened we get the email yeah and there's it a was so crazy it too was and this is how you know things are meant to be is because i literally told myself that i was not going to get a dog unless i worked from home permanently yeah so i got a work from home job and literally within a day of me starting that job there was an email or some sort of i might have checked the, the website and there just happened to be puppies that were going to be born as soon as we right, moved yeah. into our new house. It was so crazy. Like it it's so, so random and it was just perfect. So um, we'll link them down below. But yeah, yeah this, we're uh, very thankful for she's Jane. She's always having um, new litters and stuff. So and she cares about where the dogs go. Yes, it's, there, it's, she's definitely a reputable breeder that you can trust. Like if you look up literally TikTok, YouTube videos about how you can tell if someone is a great breeder, she checks all, all the boxes, including her picking the right people that yeah. her dogs will go yeah. to. Yeah, you don't just get get there. And yeah, oh, I this want dog is dog. cute. Doesn't work This like dog that. has a cute temperament. Like they seem so hyper perfect for our family with little kids yeah. like no she will not let you choose she chooses the one that is perfect for your family and that is one of the main indicators that a breeder is a great breeder is because she cares so much about her dogs she won't just give them to anyone just because they have the money you scared of the light you scared 
the light. Okay, let's get on to the next question. Okay, we're gonna quickly touch on how we prepared Winston for the baby. Now there's this Instagram, like I'm gonna obviously talk about this more in another video and it'll be more in depth. This supporter who has been commenting on our videos, asking for advice because she's hoping to get pregnant soon and we're really rooting for her. So it'll I'm gonna happen. make that um, video separately. However, in terms of preparing Winston for a newborn, we tried to definitely have things around that are gonna be laying around our house while we have a newborn. So like a moving bassinet, because yes. Winston is very scared of- Moving what is things. It? Moving things, <laughs> like inanimate things that yeah. can move. So our bassinet like swivels. So we made sure to turn that on like a few weeks prior at nighttime um, and make sure like the sound doesn't bother him mm -hmm. or, you know, set boundaries. So a huge one was to stop him from going on the couch. And he learned that rather quickly. He had been on the couch all his life and it really broke our hearts when we had to be like, okay, we're having the baby in two weeks. Like he's got to stop going on the couch. And that just literally almost put me into a depression yeah. because it's like you you gave them that's why people always say discipline them from the start from the how start. you want them to end up because it's so much harder for you and them to like get like, rid of something yeah. that they love and that was very hard for me so if you're planning on having kids try to get them used to perhaps like especially if they're giants like obviously if they're small dogs like it's still important to create boundaries but it's not quite the same as like a giant dog potentially crushing yeah. your newborn if you're just like laying them on the couch although that's also not safe that's a whole another video that i'm going to tackle i recommend dog meets underscore baby on instagram i followed all of her advice and it has gone so smoothly and one last thing we put him up for the board, board, and train. board and train. When the baby was about five weeks old, we realized, you know, he would benefit so much more if he was crate trained. Okay. <laughs> this is He's how scared, scared of is. his thing. Stop, okay, this ready? thing. Ooh. Oh. You're acting brave for the camera. Another thing that we did too is we, um, before they were formally introduced to each other, we would bring stuff that she had been from the hospital yeah like a hat and hat, a swaddle swaddle just so he could get familiar with her sense before yeah. actually meeting her which yeah. i think helped right, and buddy, we kept we them honestly we kept them separated for an entire year uh she would never get to play like obviously to to this day she doesn't play with the dog by herself ever however um we set those boundaries Definitely. we don't let them play Definitely. um we don't even let her have floor time when she was uh, an infant, no floor time with, or tummy time, no tummy time with Winston on the floor. It would always have to be in a separate room. Okay. Next question. How is Winston with guests? Does he eat them for lunch or does he welcome them with generous tail wags? I responded back and said, no one has looked good enough to eat that has come into our house. So no, he does not eat them for lunch, but he does drown them in slobber. Yes, he gets extremely excited when people come over, but he's he's very controlled, but the slobber... It's like, con you could tell his anxiety is there from yes. the slobber. He controls it very well. I was just telling Travis today, he's just like me, how it's like you have anxiety, but you cover it up very well yeah. by staying calm, but your insides are like eating you up. Yeah. That's exactly how and, it uh, like is. We have baby gates, so he is separated from when people come. Okay, Winston. <laughs> he is separated from when people come in, but he's so Sorry. Like, excited. <laughs> for people to come in and to pet him. He just wants yeah. to be loved by everyone, obviously. Yes. So he's uh, he's very good. We haven't had an incident where... <laughs> this is the most obnoxious. He hasn't, we he's haven't had an this. incident where he's been rough with anyone. He's very, very gentle when people come in. So he's, uh, he's pretty good for that. Yes. Okay. I love big dogs, but how do you deal with all the dribble? There's so much, guys, like... 
our, our couches are stained with them. Like, yeah, it's but it's a, easy to clean up. I it's mean, easy I to lie. clean, but like- You have to pick the right fabrics. And you have couch. to know what you're doing that day because if you need to be looking nice, probably don't go too close to Winston. Yeah. It's worse obviously when he's um, salivating over like food and stuff. Yeah. But in general, I would say, you know, it, it is a lot. It's definitely one thing that you need to consider if you are thinking about buying a Mastiff is it's just something you're going to live with is the drool. And, yes. Uh, we just try, have it. Like you should feel how wet best. this is. We try our best to clean up after him every day. Like my parents live with us too and um, my mom like obsessively will mop. Yeah. Um, which is so nice of her because obviously like I'm pregnant so I try as much as possible not to do because honestly mopping his drool off is hard yeah, on your back so it's not it's just water so hard it's on your back so, so sticky and like yes so yeah. it's um but honestly like some days i find it's very relaxing Winston. to clean up his drool you gotta put this away because you have uh, to put this away okay sorry it's making too much noise my friend sometimes it's just a little too excessive so i have to clean up and then it it gives me Sorry. a lot of satisfaction Sorry. to have to see our hardwood back we've been trying to look for the perfect rug yeah still haven't found it or they're a little too expensive so we'll see but anyways um yeah the dribble is a lot when he's around food especially when you're dangling food in front of him yeah when he's anxious or around guests. you're warned about it before buying one of these guys but you're never gonna it's just like having children you're never you're gonna never be gonna fully know. ready until you actually have yes. one and i've had people say that their mastiffs or great danes have passed and um, they still see drib Drib dribble yeah, and um, walls stains and all over the walls which is a nice like souvenir yeah. it's so sweet but like um yeah i'm sure when you're living in it it can be kind of annoying yeah it's a lot but he has gotten better once we switched him to raw food because he's not as dehydrated yeah what kind of enrichment activities does winston enjoy i love large breeds but i can't have in an apartment well i would say um these dogs can definitely live in an apartment i'll say that yeah, first yeah. and for foremost it's recommended that they don't get as much exercise as an average dog just because of their weight, weight the mass. their joints you don't want them that it's very easy for these dogs to get arthritis at a young age and you always really have like to be careful stuff, yeah like the jumping always stuff. have to be careful with blow for these kind of dogs, um, Great Danes, Mastiffs, all those kind of dogs are high risk for bloat. So obviously after they eat, you don't wanna take them on like very rigorous walks or anything like that because they're susceptible to those kind of things. And we were told, um, you know, a walk a day. <laughs> He's like, are you sure? <sighs> We yeah, were we were told by the breeder a walk a day is enough. More than enough. Um, yeah, and she would even say like sometimes she'll just alternate dogs. And like take them on he'll walks. take a ten minute walk and be exhausted. Be Not even ten out. minutes. Like so. Yeah. Even even as a puppy, he yeah. was never like you had to about pick the walks. him up most times and walk <laughs> him home because he wouldn't finish the, the walk. Especially in the summer, it's hard on them. So they're definitely apartment friendly. Now, obviously, if you want your apartment to be spick and span and clean all the time, then that's a different story. Or if you want some space to run around, like sometimes they might take up a lot yeah. of space laying down, but they are the perfect apartment dogs, they're good in for my it. opinion. Yeah, they're good for Winston um, likes to just stay. We actually block him off in just our living room. And I'd say that's like pretty much the size of an apartment. Yeah. So he stays here all day and he's perfectly happy. Yeah, we give him sleeps. enrichment, um, just like the question asked, we give him enrichment more than just from walks. So he sniffs on walks and stuff and he loves that and get, gets him tired. However, what we do when we don't take him for walks is we give him either the licky mat yep. and that just exhausts him yeah um he we put peanut butter on it he goes to town for like what 20 30 yeah. minutes yeah. same thing with the raw bone the raw bones he like will attack them for 15 20 25 minutes and yeah. be great after and like, then he would just fall asleep for fall like asleep. 12 13 14 hours yeah. after just because it's so enriching for him like he enjoys right. it so much and he puts so much effort into it that after it just knocks him out and 
like we've tried like the kong balls with like the peanut butter inside of them or like some of the <laughs> things where you put treats inside of a blanket and roll it up <laughs> He, he can't, can't figure, figure it out. out. He, can't. he can't figure it out. Um, we, I've even tried to do like the cup game yeah. where you put the treat inside the cup. That'd be straightforward stuff. Yeah, he's he gets frustrated easily. So I think if he can't figure out where the treat is, he's just like, ugh. Like that's it. I've had enough of this. Like I'm I'm done for the day. He's drinking water right now. Let's see what happens when he comes back. <laughs> I don't know. This is, yeah. And also on raw, he only drinks water like maybe three times a day. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Some dribble, some yeah. dribble on see, the pillows. It's not too bad. On the pillows. Look, look, show them, show, show them, them show them your show. face, buddy. Okay, what do you swear? <laughs> show them your face. Yes, 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 this is the guy. This is the guy. Good boy. Sit. Okay, sit. Don't mess up my pants. <laughs> Okay, next question. Another enrichment activity that they say um, is very good for all dogs um, that doesn't take a lot of effort from you is lit literally just sitting with them outside. So this summer, I'm gonna try to do that more with him and the new baby um, and just watch Gigi run around in our backyard. Just sit outside on the porch. He loves doing that, just watching the cars go by. He just loves by. being near us. Like, yeah, he just, he just likes to do very this Very simple. Stuff. Yes. How much does Winston eat in a day and who has the second job to pay for it? It is expensive to feed him. Uh, how much do we say it was again? 300, 300 a month? 300 Canadian plus. A month? A month. Obviously. Depending on how many bones we get that month. Yeah, and he eats about two pounds a day of raw food. Yeah, we, we feed him just once a day because he stopped like eating yeah. breakfast and stuff. So but he'll just eat once midday and That two actually pounds. saved us a lot of money because he used to be on three pounds. Three pounds, a yeah. Day. And we would have to like measure it out and the food is so gross looking. It would like make you, yeah. Well, but I don't really mind it that much. I but didn't I, like it. I didn't like it. But, it just uh, looks like ground beef. But anyway. It does not look like ground it beef. It does. Oh it looks like God. you could cook it. Yeah, you could cook it, but like that's gross. <laughs> not on our pans. Two pounds is just like the one whole container we just dump it in there for him we obviously dethaw it dump it in there and he's perfectly good for the entire day and maria was a nurse but now she's obviously looking after the children yes and i'm a real estate agent and i also work we are we also have a family business yes um, that we so we do so we we were jack what is it jack of all trades jack of all trades yeah baby <laughs> come sit um what's yeah. his favorite Good boy. What now. is Winston's favorite food? A I, favorite I treat? said I said in the comments that it's easier to talk about his least yes, favorite food. Very, he loves all kinds of food. Very He'll true. eat anything. But what he would even you, ate. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Travis's Nintendo Switch. All that the I bought cartridges. For him when it just got released, Mario and I, Party Zelda. I literally cried. Mario tennis. Because it was like seven hundred bucks at the oh. time. He ate it. He, he ate, ate it. it. He ate he batteries, ate. made us miss the Super Bowl. He's just, you know. That's a story time for Those are, time. it's not even that he was hungry, he's just bored. It was when he was a puppy and we obviously didn't do a very good job securing things and it's very dangerous. Try not to make this mistake, although most dog owners will say they've made this it's mistake. It happened once or twice. Yeah, like Marley and me, how he ate an entire phone and swallowed it mm -hmm. and shat it out. Pretty much what Winston did, but with batteries. Yeah. He did it with batteries. We called poison control so fast. We went to the vet, vet so fast. Yeah. Watched the Super Bowl from the car because we couldn't go in because of COVID. Oh. oh. But so if you anyways. were to say, what would it, like what he gets most excited about? For food, I think peanut butter. I think pizza. Anytime he sees oh, pizza yeah. boxes. Okay. Seriously. Yeah. He likes peanut butter the most. Least favorite food is the other day, I found out he hates dragon fruit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He dragon. was like very oh, look at this. apprehensive. He about really it. hates uh, fish, tuna. Oh, anything with salmon. Like yeah, we gave well, him his regular raw food. We got the salmon one mixed in there and we did not notice. We put it in his bowl. He wouldn't eat it. He like it was it. unbelievable. We were, and it was crazy because we did the whole thing where, okay, you're not gonna eat, we're gonna take it away. And then we tried to put it back down in 10 minutes. No, he refused to eat it for the entire day. He hates any salmon treats. He'll any like fish. sometimes, 
He'll tolerate it, but he's not a fish guy. Yeah. He's not about the seafood, baby. And he doesn't like anything green. He doesn't like anything green. Anything, anything healthy. Healthy, he spits just out. Just like his mom. It's so unbelievable. Like, I just don't. He does like fruits. Yeah, but not nothing green, though. Not, Spinach, not broccoli. Spinach. Broccoli. Broccoli. No. Not no Even lettuce. Even cauliflower. Cucumba. We you don't like it. Yeah. How bad does it hurt when Winston steps on your bare feet? Now, this isn't that bad for me, but I'll let Maria answer this question because... I've cried yeah. so many times. Now he's not as bad. He's very aware of his surroundings now. I found that he got so much better once we put him up for the board and train with Kylie, which we'll link her down below. And um, once the baby came, he had been very cautious about where he steps He's very, I don't know, like I know we give him a bad rap and say like he's a dumb dumb, but he's so aware, he's aware of his surroundings now, especially with the baby, that I don't think he's ever even stepped on her. Like no. maybe he's not. He's her. again, I, we've, I've said it, the only incident we've ever had is he brushed her once and she fell down. Yeah, like and brushed like, it her. Was and she was so just being... soft and she was, she had just started walking so she was clumsy yeah. on her own, but that's the only incident we've ever had. Or and sometimes his tail will hit her on the head. But that's just. But it's like, even then he'll like move away and be like, oh shoot, I hit you, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so he's really good about being aware of his surroundings. When he did used to step on me, he was only a puppy. So he was less than 100 pounds and I've cried yeah. multiple times. How well does Winston handle cold? You know what? Yeah, I think you were mentioning something about how they they really do belong in England because it's kind of in between. Yeah, it's not too cold, on. not too hot, which is, I, which is perfect for him because he does really hate the hot. Obviously, he gets really drooly, he gets really tired, he needs water. But then again, and you would think he'd be like loving the cold, but sometimes when it's really cold and we're not in the coldest place ever in Toronto area, um, he'll like his paws, he'll, we'll he'll be them. lifting his like paws and he can't outside. handle it, right? So yeah. I would say definitely that in between, not too hot, not too cold. Yeah, you can take the Mastiff out of England, but you can't take the Mastiff the out of England out of the mastiff. The mastiff. The man. The I river. Is Winston allowed on the bed with all of you for cuddles or do you cuddle him on the floor? So now because this is a common space, we don't allow him on the couch just because obviously it's a smaller space and he could one hurt himself easily by falling off of it or like if we're just chilling with the babies watching TV like we don't want him like just taking up all the space. Um, but with bed we do yes I'm we but only if practice. he's allowed only if he's allowed like if he tell him no we get do. off the bed yes and he is very fast to get off the bed if we tell him no yeah but very we did very well with not letting him on the bed for a while and then i got covid and i was in the bedroom quarantine by himself by myself for a week and a half and ruined I, everything i caved and yes I just you know i saw him laying on the floor i was feeling vulnerable i wanted okay with me. you were brought him on the bed and um it's been nice he's yeah. a good foot rest Oh yes. And he's very cuddly. He he's extremely cuddly. Like. And he knows to like stay on the foot yeah. of the bed too, which was something he, I yeah. don't know how he learned that. But he only does come up on his terms. Like he'll sleep on the ground most of the time, but when he wants that like, yeah. you know, that comfort, he'll come up on the bed. On the bed. And then if we say no, he'll just get yeah. off. Nice. But guys, thank you so much for thank commenting you. these questions. We've been wanting to do this. Um, if you have any other questions that you want to see in the next video, yeah. comment below and comment we'll do Comment below or I can just answer We We do now. pretty good at responding to the comments. Pretty so. good. I do really good. Yeah. A plus plus. So comment whatever you have for us, for Winston, or if you want to know anything about our family, our daughter, what, what, what we're doing in life, comment below and we'll do our best <laughs> How we to make it uh, all work. answer those Barely. questions. Thank you very much for watching.